I have gone through different phases in my life with my house, times when I was able to keep up so, so well, and the house was just literally clean most of the time, to times where I am struggling to just get the basics done and I feel like my house is a mess all of the time. I have used routines that have worked for me. I have switched up routines when that didn't work successfully. But lately, I'm going through one of those times where it feels like everything is always a mess and I can barely get through the basics. And it's funny because recently I did another declutter from my bedroom and I will be doing more organizing another day as well. But I've stumbled upon notes I took when I was watching YouTube, and it was a question that She's in Her Apron asked a long time ago. She is a great channel that I have watched. In fact, she was the first cleaning video channel I ever watched. And she asked the question, what is the biggest challenge you face when it comes to keeping up with your daily routines, whether it's cleaning, productivity, or anything else? And I would love to hear you weigh in on this in the comment section. So often we feel like we have to get everything perfect. We can really beat ourselves up, especially when it's something that we used to have in hand and now it is all gone to pot and it's all chaos again. So I wanted to list the 29 different things that people listed as to what keeps them from keeping up from with their daily routines. And you tell me if any of this rings true for you. One was having to switch gears often through the day and not being able to dedicate the time I want to the task. Two was energy, enthusiasm, and motivation when I work full time. Three was chronic pain, anxiety, and depression. Four, prioritizing when everything else feels just as important. Five was time and energy. <laughs> what? That's obviously the one that Woozy struggles with. <laughs> time and energy when taking care of loved ones with needs. So if you're a caretaker, you'll definitely relate to that one. Keeping it clean people piling as soon as it's clean. I have dealt with that too. Energy, time, consistently, consistency while taking care of an elderly parent. Chronic illness, energy, perseverance. Another with illness. Energy with no help or being a single mom. Everything feeling like a huge task. Feeling pulled in different directions. Can you just relate to any of these? I feel like I've dealt with many of them at different times. Young children who are clingy, anxiety and having a hard time getting going. Days consist constantly changing and just a lack of discipline, a lack of energy, motivation, being overwhelmed by your lists, being easily distracted, getting up and doing it instead of watching YouTube. Hey! <laughs> I can't balance anything in my life, being tired after work, cleaning, but it gets messy again quick. That one came up a couple of times. Uh, finding a balance when I work from home, I can definitely relate to that one. Having a hard time with time management, staying on one thing, starting five and not finishing any of them. Old age and a lack of energy and over planning, you know, when you can get that to-do list that has way too many things in it that you just can't seem to get anything done. The reason why I share all of that is I just want you to know you're not alone. There was an overwhelming response to that question. It was actually done a long time ago, but everything there still rings true for us today, doesn't it? And it just shows that even though we're all in the same storm, we're not all in the same boat. You know, some people do have young children. Some people have elderly parents living with them. Um, some might have adult children that are sick living with them. Or, you know, you're working full time or you're working from home. There's so many situations. It could be your own health, mental health, physical health. There's just so many life happenings and schedule changes that go along with all of these things. And we can have the expectation that when we're in a quieter season, we used to get it done and we've kind of forgotten what it was like and how easy we had it. And now we just can't understand why we can't keep up. So I just want you to know that if you're struggling to keep up with the basics like I am, if you're struggling to wake up to a clean kitchen like I am, 
if you're struggling with just feeling frustrated because you're waiting for someone to kind of save you and no one seems to be coming, I just want you to know you're not alone. And I want you to know that when you see... For example, my videos, it might look like, oh, she's keeping it all up because she can show where before the kitchen was dirty and now the kitchen is clean. And honestly, if I had not already put these clips onto my computer and started editing, I would have shown you that you're going to see the after of my kitchen and about an hour and a half later, I already needed to tidy up the kitchen again and I was a little bit tempted to be frustrated uh, I had to just take a deep breath you know and you know just give it a quick five minute tidy and move on move on move on or sometimes I'll say to somebody hey would you mind cleaning up that countertop for me you know so it's just the way things go Today I had been, well actually over the past few days, I had been thinking about taking my days in one hour blocks. Do you remember the old power hour videos that used to be up on cleaning channels all of the time? I've really been thinking about this because first of all, I decided when I got up this morning, okay, I'm going to do a power hour. And I was thinking power hour to get the entire downstairs straight. Well, no, I got my kitchen straight because then I remembered that I had put in a grocery order and I must have had my phone on silent because I didn't see that they were on their way. And so lo and behold, thankfully, after I got the kitchen done, my groceries arrived and Yvonne and Rachel were there to kind of help me get them into the kitchen and get them unloaded onto the island and I really did appreciate their help and I didn't ask for help so it's always a big treat as a mom when you get help even if you didn't ask for it. So I had decided to do an hour and by the time I cleaned up the kitchen and did the grocery order, what do you know, an hour had passed. But I've really been thinking about taking my life a little bit more in an hour by hour block so that I can plan different places throughout the house that need attention. For example, it's like 75 degrees outside. And when I say this is rare for this time of year, it is very, I mean, we've had snow this time of year before. So whenever you get a day like this, it's just more than beautiful. But also, I remembered that I had a prescription for myself I needed to pick up at the pharmacy. I went last night, but it was a Sunday, and the pharmacy closes super early, which I forgot, of course, so I got to the grocery store to pick up my medication. It wasn't there. I'm supposed to take it in the morning, so I couldn't take it this morning, so I needed to finish up with the grocery order so that I could go, guess where, to the grocery store <laughs> and pick up my medication. I need to look into, I know you can have medication delivered. I don't know how that works. If I could have just had it sent with my grocery order, I don't know how risky that is, but I might just look into it. If you have medications delivered from your local pharmacy, you let me know. I would love to know about it. The other thing I want to just share that's completely off topic is if you get grocery delivery, you can say whether or not you want substitutions and you have to just uncheck and say no substitutions. I'd recommend that. I forgot to do that on this order and I had three or four substitutions and they took my very inexpensive frugal item and they substituted it with items or brands that were twice the price. I really thought about bringing it back to the store, but at the end of the day, I thought, well, how about lesson learned? And next time you uncheck and you make sure that you say no submissions or no substitutions because it did cost me more money. And that was very disappointing because it was a very, very large grocery order that I was getting in. So just a little food for thought for you there. So my desire always is for you not to beat yourself up. And as I was uh, thinking about this hour by hour, what I was saying was I could spend an hour inside cleaning and then be like, okay, this is as much as you're going to get done right now. So why don't you go outside and enjoy the weather and do some raking? It's kind of like circuit training, you know, you could like do a quick around the house, tidy up, and then completely switch gears and go to a project you wanted to get done for an hour and then completely switch gears and do a hobby that you enjoy for an hour and switch gears again, taking on other projects either around the house or outside or going on errands and just 
instead of feeling kind of locked in one spot and then feeling like the rest of the house just went to pot, <laughs> you can kind of circuit yourself around. So anyway, here is our grocery order. My groceries don't fit on my island, so I gotta do this in waves. Unsweetened almond milk, two dozen eggs, Clorox wipes for the bathroom, frozen corn, Two uh, frozen pizzas I didn't ask for because I asked for freshetta and I got Newman's. Um, vegan bagels, gluten free. Tofu. Leo's little squeezies. Some Jif peanut butter. Two boxes of sugar free popsicles, one that are orange cherry grape. One that are the tropical flavors of Caribbean fruit punch, tropical orange, and Hawaiian pineapple. And then plates for the cat food. Tostitos, two things of strawberries. Some gluten-free pastas. Lasagna noodles. Light sour cream. Beets and... <laughs> Green beans, chili peppers, cottage cheese for the lasagna instead of ricotta. And then two small garbage bags for the bathroom trash, some McCown apples that are like Macintosh, but a bit more tart, especially this time of year, the Macs are getting sweeter. And bananas, two things of green grapes, Hamburger rolls that I shouldn't have bought because I found out I don't actually need them, so I might freeze those. A loaf of regular bread, Canadian white, and then a loaf of keto bread. I have three K-cup caramels. And then reduced fat mozzarella. Uh, vegan chocolate chips, the mini ones. Salsa, because we're going to do pork tacos this week, or some sort of tacos. Cabbage for steak and cabbage, Asian steak and cabbage. Peanut butter biscuits. English cucumbers. Cranberry juice for Ava. Okay, that seems to be everything here. So I'm going to put that away, and then I can put the rest of it on the island. Leo just likes the bag. Also, he has two things of kitty litter, and then we have two packages of toilet paper and one of paper towels. As I'm putting these groceries away, why don't you let me know in the comments section, what are some of the little tricks that you have when your you know, routines aren't working anymore, when you feel like you're just not able to get things done the way that you used to get done? What are some ways that you have found that work for you to get yourself kind of back in to being able to keep up more with the basics of the house and with your routines. One major difference I have had is when I tried to go or when I did go full time on YouTube, what that ended up meaning was I would film and then the next morning I would end up editing to get that video up that day. It used to be that the majority of my active cleaning would happen in the morning. But that just didn't work with me anymore with YouTube. So that has been a huge adjustment to me. And I'm still working that out a little bit. I would still dream of getting some videos kind of backlogged so that I'm working ahead and not behind or even not, you know, as we go, but having a little bit more ahead so that I can switch that around just a little bit. On the up and all in all, I can't even talk. I don't really mind it too much. It's just an adjustment that has to be made. And also as kids grow up and they go or as other family members are struggling with things too, that always is going to affect how much people are able to help around the house because they have their own problems and their own issues that they're working through or there's been times when you know, somebody might be living at home, but they're working two jobs. There's just a lot that can be going on. Look at look at Leo on the on the island, by the way. Isn't he just a crazy boy? He's so funny. Um, but anyway, 
um, let weigh in and, and help each other. And then I hope that if this is a video that you're watching now, maybe you're watching it right when it went up, come back later on, see what other people have had to share, see what help they might have. You know, you've got to give yourself grace. You've got to try not to beat yourself up. You've got to understand that no season lasts forever. It's called a season for a reason. It will be over and then you'll be on to something else. There'll be other struggles, but there might be a season where you're able to keep up with it again. Just being patient with yourself, knowing you're going to figure it out. It's going to be okay. You might have to change your priorities. You might have to change your expectations of how much you can get done in a day. You might even have to change your standards. You know, maybe you used to wash your floor every week. Now you have to do it every month. Now maybe you'll do it once a season. You know, maybe you used to change your bed sheets every week. Now it's once a month. And just knowing it's okay. I mean, honestly, I don't know what it's like in other countries, but I do know in the United States, we do tend to be very clean and sometimes can even be a little bit, I don't know, throwing food away earlier than we have to and maybe being a little overly clean. We're very, 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 very concerned with things like sanitation, with contamination and all those things. I kind of feel like we're the proverbial mom that's telling everybody that if they run with a pencil in their hand, it's going to get, it's going to poke their eyeball out, you know. Um, I feel like we're very safety conscious here in the United States. I don't know if it's the same in other countries as well, but I think most of us could lighten our standards a bit and still be fine. But it's so important to know when to say enough, when to say, okay, I've done enough for today, control it. And sometimes as we get older or as there are different seasons or other expectations on us, we can't just say, I'm going to get the kitchen, the living room, and the dining room done. It's It sometimes needs to be, I'm going to spend an hour, and then I've got to do what I've got to do. You know, if you're taking care of someone who's ill, or if you're recovering from a surgery or an injury, you're obviously not going to be able to work the amount of time you used to work. The standards have to come down, and what you consider the basics has to change. For example, look at that refrigerator. Oh my goodness, I was like, I can't end this video until I have sectioned out the meat, put it away, I need to cook a chicken. I had all these things that it's like, if you're going to show your groceries, you need to show the whole thing. But I had to go to the store. I really wanted to hang out with you guys today. So it's like, no, I'm going to end the video. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to get it up. I'm going to get to chat with my friends. I'm going to get to hear the things that they are saying because I love you guys so much. And then we'll turn the camera back on and, and I can show it another day and I can be an example of the things that I am saying all the time. So I just so appreciate all of y'all being here. And if you're here and you haven't subscribed, I do hope you will consider subscribing for homemaking motivation that is real and that supports you and your whole person and taking breaks and doing things that you enjoy, you're going to find a very positive community here. So let me show you what else I have in my grocery order. I have some lean turkey breast, lean ground beef, two of those. I have stewing beef. We're definitely doing beef stew, maybe even today. I don't know. Chicken thighs family pack and then I got stocked up on some four boxes of chicken broth even though I have some in the freezer it's just nice to have it on hand and one of vegetable broth. I am headed back to the grocery store again and I thought I would show you a bit of the foliage again. It's just so beautiful and over the weekend we had our peak and so there are definitely areas where I'm definitely seeing it is beyond peak, but even still it has like an orangey yellow glow, even with the leaves that are starting to yellow to brown. And it has just been such a gorgeous foliage season. I don't know if you have a foliage season where you live. I know obviously people in say Florida don't get to see this very much because they have palm trees, not maple trees. So 
I have just loved the color, the blue sky of fall. It has just been gorgeous. So I hope this has been an encouraging video for you today. I look forward to encouraging you more here in the future. I still have yet to show you what my husband got done in the bathroom. So there's loads more coming at you this week. Hopefully I'll get out in the yard, get some cleaning done. Hopefully we'll be able to get some decluttering done too. My grandkids are coming at the end of the week. So I need to get ready for that as well. And um, lots of nice cozy cooking to go as well. Hey, remember, as always, God loves you, and I love you too, and I can't wait to see you next time.